What's up, guys? Wonder Rob here from Geek So To Speak Podcast, coming at you again with more Super Liminal on the Xbox Series X. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're not already subscribed, hit subscribe because I'm going to keep playing this game till I beat it, obviously. Plus, there's tons of other videos on this YouTube page. Uh, let's see. What, what, what's going on? Horizon Zero Dawn, or excuse me, Horizon Forbidden West, Elden Ring. Oh, this, that, and the other. There's too many videos to name. So you want to be subscribed, hit the bell, do all the things. You know how YouTube works, and while you're at it, check out our weekly Geek Culture Podcast. It's called Geek So To Speak Podcast, and it's available everywhere you get your podcasts. Every Sunday, we're talking movies, TV shows, comic books, trailers, video games, geek news, and everything in between. And the video version, the truncated video version, is on this YouTube page every Sunday, as long as I remember to edit it. And we're not taking some sort of weird break or anything. All right, so the last time I was in this game, uh, was it? This game was playing some tricks on me, just like always. Almost made me vomit. Hopefully, this is not the case here. Although, everything looks a little dreamy. Can you see that around the edges? Everything's just a little dreamy. This is highly I'm unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Hmm. Well, this patient does. Thank you very much. Paradox behavior, aka don't do it, never. Call jungles management. Music too dang loud. Sent a burned curry. Shipments of food coming here. Don't have space for more. Ask if they can hand out flyers for testing. Also, ask rice, rice and medical for increased canister order frequency. Don't forget the white space. Oh, is this what? It's my little area. Uh, what? That's, that's weird. Wait, do I need to get in here? I think I do. But before I do that, let's see what's out here. For fun. Uh, nothing. Conception. Don't know how I feel about that. Okay. The blurriness around the corners is really throwing me off. Whoa. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Oh, hey, check it. This is how we do it. Okay. So I went in three times, so I'm curious if it's going to only let me go out three times. Let's find out. Nope, I'm just in a one big old loop. At this point, you guys. Okay. Oh, well, that's not what I meant. Well, let's go in, and is there anything to be done? What if I make it real small? Will I, will I shrink myself? Doing a little ex it's called an experiment, you guys. Oh boy. So I think what I want to do is put this where'd it go? I'm gonna put this back and I'm gonna get into this parking lot. Let's go check out the parking lot. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented.
Help wanted, everybody. Not too big. Okay, so let's see. Where should I put that in order to get out of here? So there's got to be a place. There's got to be somewhere. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. What if I put it in here? Whoa. Well, that's not what I meant to have happen, but... Paradox, baby! <laughs> yeah. Whoa. All right. My dream got really screwed. I'm into it now, though. I'll tell you what. Oh, check it out! Empty hallway. How long is this hallway, you think? You know me, man. I'm an explorer, and I likes to explore. called the void where I'm at and I feel like we're getting close to the end so let's see am I breaking the game okay Probably not meant to go this far. Well, there it goes. So we'll just go back. The only downside to my shenanigans is now we gotta wait for me to walk all the way back. That's how we do it, though. <coughs> um, so let's keep it going. Found some windows. To the window. Shot. That's Shaf's favorite song. Anytime you mention a window to Shaf, he's going to sing that song. Okay, so let's go up and around and let's see what's up here. Not an exit. Well, watch me walk through it anyway. I could see out those windows. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. Here's my desk. Here's my radio. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Mm -hmm. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. Sure. White space. Mm -hmm. Well, that's 
quite the dream. Quite the Martin Luther King. Alright, well, I guess we'll just make it all the way over to this side. My phone's going off. Don't they know I'm playing video games? Did you see how I figured that out first try? Okay, am I gonna fall or what? Because I know what this game's like. This game likes to trick you. Oh, that's kind of cool. Can I go up that? Can I go trying it? You know me. Whoa! Uh, invisible wall. That's how they get you. So clean. So nice. Yep, here. Another hallway. To walk through. Go to the store, please. Can't get to that. Do I need? Yes, thank you. A little square. We did it. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Time goes. What is this, a big old light switch right here that I'm going to turn on and off? Stairs, boy. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Whoa, whoa. That's how this game tricks you, man. I don't want you to have any fun. Hallway. Hallway. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. I meant some sort of paradox. Sure, 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 sure. Blue and red. Just like always, baby. Blue 
and red. Just like always, baby. Blue and red. Okay. So there's something I'm missing here. Secret door, baby. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? It's a big water cooler. Isn't that why you came here? I came here because I was kind of bored. Oh, we playing chess, baby. Let's go. That's how they get you, dude. Okay. You stay here. Perfect. You? Oh my god. I can't do anything right, can I? Okay. Okay, can I have this? You see, the chessboard has to have the pieces on it in order to walk across. It's as simple as that, my guys. Can I have you? Please. Perfect. Don't let me fall. All right. Go, baby. I just realized, like, I feel like the answer is get this up there, right? But I can't jump up there. Hold on, can I get you through the door? Oh, so you can go through the door, but not me. That's wild. That's weird. That's suspicious. Okay. brought this big thing of cheese. Let's go. Great. Where am I going to fall now? Just 
Let's keep it going. There we go. Whoop. Perfect. This game's messing me up, dude. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It's just one big maze. Let's go. Oh boy. What time is it? Eight AM boys. Time to wake up. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. That's fair. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. Yeah. And therein, of course, we find Whoa. exactly the failure we were looking for. be a struggle and you will always have problems but today you have the chance to see things differently even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first you thought outside the box and you overcame them because you saw things from every angle you understood them for what they really were because you kept moving forward no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed or how unexpected it became, you found your way. Feels like I'm moving backwards, actually. be back in the real world and some part of you will say ah, that none of this was real so how could it have really meant anything but just like the power of perspective itself it will have been as real as you believed it to be all you've got to do is wake That's it, boys. We rolled credits on Super Liminal. Thanks to Albert Shish, friend of the show, uh, for creating such a great 
great game. I can't forget Logan Fight. Without Logan, what would, where would this game even be without the levels, right? And Steve Allen, he was the art director. Oh my god. Where would the art be if he wasn't here? Um, the principal artist. You know, he's the one who runs the artist. Like a principal of school. Ryan Sanderson, he was great. <sighs> and you get it. Man, that game was great. And it was free. Well, free. On Xbox Game Pass. That is something I like. Well, I appreciate you guys sticking with me through this game. If there's anything worthwhile after the credits, I'll tack it on right here. But if nothing happened, that means nothing worthwhile happened after the credits. So thanks, guys. Take it easy. Oh, wait. Don't take it easy. Subscribe. And then take it easy. <laughs>